Everyone tells you to work hard, but what if working hard is the very thing holding you back? What if the endless hustle is the reason you're stuck? That realization hit me like a brick wall and it forced me to change everything. Because the truth is, I wasn't building a life. I was burying myself in one. The longer I chased productivity, the further I drifted from things that actually mattered. And it wasn't until I embraced a new way of working, one powered by AI, that I finally broke free. Hey everyone, I'm Jake Dawson. And just like you, I used to be trapped in what I call the productivity prison. I was grinding out 80 hours a week, chasing this illusion of getting ahead, but in reality, I was just burning out. And look, I'm not proud of it, but there were actually nights when I fell asleep at my desk, surrounded by cold cups of coffee. Now I'm working less, I'm getting more done, and I'm actually enjoying my life again. And today I'm going to show you exactly how I pulled it off. Here's the thing. This isn't about letting robots take over your brain. It's about freeing your brain to do what it's best at, being creative, solving problems and connecting with people. That boring, repetitive stuff, that's what AI should handle. So if you've ever felt like you're working harder, but still stuck in the same place, this is going to be a game changer for you. Stick with me because I'm going to walk you through step-by-step step the exact tools and workflows that I use every day. I'll show you which buttons to click, what settings to choose, and even give you real examples from my own work. No fluff, no jargon, just straight up practical stuff that you can use as soon as this video ends. And I'll be honest with you, when I first started testing these tools, I thought that they were just shiny toys. Well, half of them were, but the few that actually worked, they changed everything. And here's the cool part. I didn't just keep this to myself. Inside my school community, I share all of the templates and walkthroughs that I discuss on this channel and then some and we help each other actually get these automations working in our businesses. It's kind of like having a shortcut button for all of that messy trial and error. So check that out in the link in the description below and let's get into it because once you see how simple this really is, you'll wonder why you didn't start sooner. The first breakthrough for me is what I like to call the brain dump revolution powered by ChatGPT. Every morning I open a fresh chat and I literally spill out everything in my head goals, random ideas, even the stuff I'm stressing about. I tell it, here's what I need to get done today. And in seconds, it hands me a structured plan, not just a to-do list, but an actual order of priorities with estimated time blocks, reminders about breaks, and even suggestions to move small tasks to tomorrow if I'm overloaded. That's huge because before I'd spend half the morning figuring out what I should do first. Now I just follow a plan. And when it comes to content creation, the game changed again. I used to sit there staring at a blank page, overthinking every word. Now I throw in a messy outline or even just a single sentence and ChatGPT builds it out into a draft. Then I add my personality, my humor, my stories, and suddenly writer's block isn't even a thing anymore. And if I'm stuck making a decision, I explain the situation and ChatGPT gives me three or four different perspectives. It's like having a team of advisors on call. A real example. Creating my weekly content calendar used to take me hours of brainstorming. Now I describe the topics I wanna to hit, and in minutes, I have a clean, organized calendar ready to go. The second breakthrough was email. I used to spend hours every single day writing and rewriting messages, stressing over the wording, and trying to make everything sound just right. Then I tried having ChatGPT respond to the pasted thread. Suddenly, I could generate professional replies in seconds. And the biggest win wasn't just the speed, it was having the mental relief of not having to dig for the perfect words. Before I was wasting hours and running myself into the ground, after email took a fraction of the time and the stress was gone. The third breakthrough came with meetings. I discovered a tool called Fathom. Instead of frantically scribbling notes and missing half of what people were actually saying, this tool recorded, transcribed, and even summarized my calls. It pulled out the action items automatically so I could actually focus on the conversation. For the first time in years, I felt present in meetings instead of drowning in them. The next breakthrough was research. I used to open 20 tabs, get lost in rabbit holes, and waste entire afternoons just trying to gather information. Then I found perplexity. With it, I could type in a question and get direct answers with sources in seconds. No more tab overload, no more endless scrolling. And here's what I didn't expect. All of these little changes, they stacked up. 
Once email stopped draining me, I had energy left for the creative stuff. Once research got faster, I could finally explore new ideas instead of just trying to keep up. The real magic wasn't just doing tasks quicker. It was having the mental space to actually work on things that mattered. Let me walk you through the exact AI workflow that completely transformed the way I work. And this isn't just nice to haves. This literally changed how I plan my day, talk to clients and run my business. Introducing the glue that ties it all together, make.com. This tool basically makes all my apps talk to each other. Think of it as the silent assistant running in the background. If someone fills out a form on my website, make.com automatically creates a calendar event, adds the info to my CRM and sends out a confirmation email without me lifting a finger. Before make.com, I'd forget steps all the time. I'd forget to follow up, forget to log the data, forget to update my calendar. Now it's impossible to forget because, well, make.com does it all automatically. Another real example, I set up a workflow where every time a lead signs up for a consultation, make.com adds them to my lead spreadsheet, schedules the call, and even sends them a prep guide. That used to take me 15 minutes per lead, and now it happens instantly. Now, I want you to see how these tools fit together because the real magic isn't just the tools, it's in the system. I built it in three layers. The first layer is capture. That's where the AI gathers and organizes all the information for me. Emails, meeting notes, research. The second layer is create. That's where AI helps me brainstorm, write, and plan content or communication. And the third layer is connect. That's where the automation links everything together so I don't have to touch it again. Most people only use the create layer. They'll use AI to write something faster, and then they wonder why their workload doesn't magically shrink. The truth is, if you skip capture and connect, you're just scratching the surface. The real breakthrough comes with all three layers working together. Suddenly, your email is handled, your meetings are summarized, your research is instant, and all of it flows through a automated system that keeps the machine running. That's when you stop playing catch up and start getting ahead. And listen, I'm not saying you have to set this all up in one weekend. Start small. Pick the one pain point that drains you the most, whether it's email or meetings or research, and test one tool. And then once you feel that relief, then stack on the next one. That's how I did it. And before I knew it, my entire workflow was transformed. All right, let me be straight with you. AI is not some magic wand that fixes your life overnight. If you're already drowning in disorganized chaos, adding AI on top of that will just maybe make you drown faster, but it'll at least look prettier while you're doing it. Look, the tools don't create the transformation by themselves. The shift happens when you change your mindset about how you work. For me, the biggest change wasn't just saving time, though, yeah, getting hours back every week felt incredible. It wasn't even just the stress reduction, even though going from constantly overwhelmed to actually feeling in control, again, this was life-changing. The real transformation was this. AI didn't just make me more productive, it made me more human. Once the repetitive stuff was off my plate, my brain finally had breathing room. I could actually think about big picture ideas instead of just putting out fires all day. My communication got clearer, which meant my relationships, both personal and professional, improved. And with research being instant instead of exhausting, I suddenly had time to dive into ideas that I've been shelving for years. I started reading books again, I picked up photography, and probably the biggest one, I actually listened to my family at dinner instead of half paying attention while drafting emails in my head. We've all been there. That's the part nobody talks about. This whole thing isn't about replacing human creativity with artificial intelligence. It's about freeing human creativity from artificial busy work. Your unique perspective, your ability to connect with people, your creativity, AI can't replace that. But spending hours formatting emails, scheduling appointments, and chasing down research? Yeah, that should absolutely be handled by AI. So here's my challenge to you. Stop wearing busy like it's some badge of honor. Stop thinking that activity equals achievement. Start using AI not to pile on more work, but to finally make space for the things that matter most. Because the future isn't about fighting against AI. It belongs to the people who figure out how to collaborate with it, not compete against it. All right, your AI journey starts now, and I wanna hear your story. Drop a comment below and tell me, what's your biggest time waster right now? Or which AI tools are you the most excited to try first? And maybe the most important one, 
What would you actually do if you got a few extra hours back every single week? And hey, if you want more than just YouTube tips, inside my school community, I share all my templates and we actually work through these automations together. It's like having a shortcut button for your workflow. The link is in the description below. And to make it even easier, I put together a free guide with my complete AI productivity stack. It's got step-by-step -step setup instructions for every tool I mentioned today, so you're not stuck guessing. And if this video helped you out even a little bit, hit that subscribe button, because next week I'm diving into AI workflows that are tailored for specific roles. So whether you're in sales, marketing, creative work, or managing a team, I'll show you exactly how to plug AI into your world. Trust me, you're not going to want to miss it. And here's my final thought. The goal isn't to get more productive so you can pile on more work. The goal is to get more productive so you can finally live more. Imagine looking back a year from now and realizing you reclaimed dozens of hours of your life. Your future self is going to thank you for starting today. So what's the first thing you're going to automate? All right, that is all for now. I wanna thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more, be sure to click the video that's popping up to my left right now and we'll get into even more AI and automation gold. I'll see you there.